Prince Harry, Meghan Markle trying to punish somebody by raising security concerns. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been criticized as immature for their security demands in the UK. This week, Prince Harry won a legal advantage. He can now challenge the level of security when visiting Britain. He began his lawsuit against the Home Office in 2020 after changes were made to the security provided to him and Meghan. Harry's lawsuit came as he believed the difference in security compromised his family's safety. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. However, royal family expert Kinsey Schofield has pointed out that, despite Harry's claims, King Charles offered Harry a room in a royal residence to ensure his safety during his visits. Meghan not coming during several of the last visits, Harry refusing to stay at the palace. It's almost as if they're trying to prove their point by saying, well, Meghan can't come. She's not safe enough. Harry can't stay at the palace, it's not safe enough, Schofield told Talk TV. Schofield called them the most immature adults she had ever witnessed in her entire life. It feels they are creating this distance to punish somebody and to prove some point but the reality is that's the safest Harry would have been, she added. Prince Harry's memoir Spare caused controversy with its revelations about the royal family. Now, author Robert Hardman and commentator Lee Cohen think the Duke of Sussex might write a second book. It is believed that the new book could increase stress for the royal family, especially given Kate Middleton and King Charles's existing health concerns. Meghan Markle is having a lot of trouble finding people to help her with her new lifestyle brand American Riviera Orchard because of her demanding nature, a royal commentator said. Meghan had announced her lifestyle brand in March this year. The details about the company are, however, still scarce. The brand is said to focus on garden, home, and general lifestyle content. Speaking to British news channel GBN America, royal biographer Angela Levin said the Duchess of Sussex is at a stalemate with the business venture as she is having a hard time finding a CEO and a chef. Levin said Meghan is very upset about what is happening with this American Orchard Rivera, and she is not happy about how the brand has been received. It is not moving forward. She has had a lot of trouble finding a CEO to run it for her and she is having a lot of trouble finding a chef. Some of them have gone along to see how it is but they say she is so meticulous about everything, the royal commentator said. She's so demanding and they don't really want that. These are chefs who have good jobs, and they're not people who are learning, she added. Levin also told GBN America that the brand's a bit of a stalemate, however, Meghan has got 150 things on her link, and has applied for a global patent. Some of the things, she will be selling, are fabric gift wraps, cocktail napkins, meditation maps, pillows for household pets, a whole range of things from A to Z. We'll have to see how she gets on. I think she's finding it much more difficult than she thought, she said. The royal commentator said she thinks Meghan thought she would sail in her brand, and everybody would think it was wonderful. Which I think she does a lot about herself. But actually, it's jolly hard work. In May, Meghan sent 50 jars of strawberry jam featuring a handwritten number from 1 to 50 to influencers and her famous friends, including Chrissy Teigen and Suits co-star Abigail Spencer. The jam was a bit of a laughing stock, she sent it off to about 50 friends and only a few replied, Levin told GBN America. Everyone said that she is in a jam. Reportedly, the strawberry jam is a fit with Prime Harry and Meghan Markle's latest Netflix plans. The Duchess is going to launch a Netflix show which will celebrate the joys of cooking and gardening, entertaining, and friendship. The couple has signed a five-year production deal with Netflix in 2020, said to be worth $100. Meghan will likely officially launch American Riviera Orchard later this spring, People magazine reported citing sources. Meghan finds the name American Riviera Orchard perfect. 
It feels authentic to her. She can't wait for the website to launch. She is excited about her latest, personal venture, the report quoted.